Hey guys, my name's Rudy. In this video, we're going to be building an adaptive dialogue. If you want to get to where we are now, make sure to watch the previous videos where we go through creating a master detailed screen as well as responsive UI and just building the Flutter project um, at the beginning. So let's go ahead and get started. What we have is a simple contact master detailed scaffold. And when you select a contact, we see it on the right. And if we resize down, it'll push down to the detail screen. Now, this is great, but what about when we show dialogues in the app? We want to make sure this is responsive as, you know, if we just show an entire dialogue, it's going to look really weird. Plus, if we show a dialogue, like an alert dialogue, and then we size down to a size that's smaller than the dialogue, it's also going to look weird, especially on mobile. So let's go ahead and see how we can fix this. First of all, go ahead and create a new file inside of our common called adaptive dialog. And we're going to give it a, make it a stateless widget. So go ahead and import material. Do adaptive dialog. Let's go ahead and make sure we give it a size too. We'll use this later on. Let's make it 450 by 700. We want to pass in a child. So let's add this to the constructor. You can use the helper method right here and then it will automatically create it for you. Let's make this required. And perfect. So there's a couple different things we wanna have happen. If we start with a dialogue from mobile, we want to be able to resize it to a tablet dialogue when they resize up, but then right back to the mobile size. So what we want is a layout builder since we want this to redraw every time the screen size changes. So here we have our layout builder. We're gonna pass it a context and a dimensions. And the default use case is going to return the adaptive dialog, but we wanna to check to see if we're, we can even show it. So first of all, we wanna to check to see if the dimensions.max width is less than the K dialog size, which we're gonna grab right here dot width, or we want to do the same thing, but for the height. Perfect. And we just want to return the child since, uh, which we'll show in a second. Um, otherwise we want to return uh, our adaptive screen or adaptive dialog. So let's do a center with a child of size box from size, our size will be our K dialog size. Now we're also going to give it a child of an aspect ratio, which will I'll explain more later, but here we have our aspect ratio and we have our child and our other child. Awesome, looks great. So now let's go ahead and test it out. We can go ahead and update our index, which just allows us to keep all of our exports in one place and go to our context screen. So we're going to add a button right here where we can filter the list and show different filter options. So let's go to line 57 where we can add some actions to this app bar. Let's go ahead and create an icon button. We're gonna do filter list. Awesome. Go ahead and have an on tap. So first we're going to check to see if we're in the tablet mode. So let's also pass in our box constraints. I'm going to do this right here. Actually, let's put this in the front. Okay, perfect, and here we go. Now we're just gonna take this exact same logic. We're gonna check to see if we're tablet. So if we are tablet, we're gonna show the dialog. Otherwise, we're gonna push to a new screen. So this will be right here. Instead of the contact details, however, we're gonna create our 
adaptive form. So let's just for simplicity, or actually let's at the bottom, let's create a new screen called uh, contact list filter options. Cool. And we'll just make this a simple scaffold with an app bar. Okay. And we're just going to right here, return this, but make sure that it's a full screen dialog. Otherwise, we want to show our adaptive dialog. So this would be show, um, this would be show dialog, context, We're gonna have our content, our builder rather, be our alert dialog. And we're gonna have our content be this, or sorry. We need to wrap this with our adaptive dialog. So adaptive dialog child this. Perfect. And let's just double check everything. We might be able to replace this with material, but we'll check that in a second. So go ahead and run it. Here we see that it's graying out, so it means that it's not the correct size. Let's go ahead and change this with material. Wonderful. Okay. And let's just make sure that it shows on mobile first. So here we have our contact screen. We're going to click on filter. Perfect. It shows our scaffold. Now let's click on here. And we have our, our, our dialogue, which is great. But it's not good because we it's white behind everything. So we can update our material object here. So we can say... We want to have a, a color that's transparent. Awesome. Now let's do this again. And you'll see that we have our dialog. What's great is we can customize this however we want. And it's just a regular widget. But it has the awesome feature where if we resize down, it'll go to a mobile view. But if we start with mobile, it's going to show the dialog, which makes sense. And if we have a tablet and we resize it vertically, it'll also go to these, this mobile view. Here we have our child and it will always be the correct size and position. Now you can customize this however you want, but this is just a silly example of how to do it in a uh, pretty basic way. Later on in future videos, we're going to really flesh this out, but just wanted to show you real quick how, how easy it is to do adaptive dialogues. And no matter where we are on a desktop, it'll always be the correct aspect ratio. Okay, awesome. So make sure to stay tuned and look out for the next video. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. And as always, the link is in the description with the source code where you can get this up and running. And thanks for watching.